G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Millionaire, where we're trying to get a million dollars as quickly as possible, and we're coming back just before dawn on day 7. It is Blood Moon Horde night, the Blood Moon Horde is not far away, and I need to find a way to survive, or I'm going to lose all of my hard work. All of my money will get sacrificed to the god of the zombies if they manage to kill me tonight, so I am uh, not looking forward to that. At all. I'm uh, actually a little bit nervous about it because I really don't have much in the way of defense. There is the morning chime though, so I can get down here and murder Nance real quick. There's a lot of stuff I need to do today, like see you trade a potato and try and get some work done. But starting off your day with a healthy, hearty breakfast of murder, it's always a good time. While I am waiting for trading to open, oh, there's a cheeky bird says it's there with no eggs in it. That's a little unfortunate. Still on the lookout for eggs anywhere I can find them because that makes bacon and eggs, and that's how I'm sustaining my life at the moment. But while I'm waiting for trade to the open, I am just going to cut down a couple of trees because I do need to put some sort of horde base together. I am going to do it in the firehouse just down the road, use that stairwell as best I can, but I'm still going to need some barricades. I'm still going to need a little bit of handiwork to get myself a little bit safer. Um, so I need some materials. May as well spend my time for the next an hour and a half just cutting down trees because, well, who else is going to do it for me? What I do also need to be doing actually is having a little gander at the map. A little like dark spots like that one there could potentially be an ore node because I need to find an iron node. Oh, that, that's exactly what I found. I need to find an iron node as quickly as possible because if I'm going to start like... I think my goal is that I'm going to be, have like a bunch of workstations and like forges and stuff all cranking out as much resources as I can so I can produce goods to sell to tradie. And that's going to be my main priority to try and make money with. Because using like the awesome sauce and the, um, what's it called? The sugar butts candy and all that uh, wonderful thing, I can hopefully make... I mean, by the end game, I could probably make like $100,000 a day. I don't think that's too much of an ask. I know like other times when I'm not focusing on it, I've made maybe like $60,000 in one trip with some pretty good loot. So it's definitely on the cards. If I'm actually like focusing on it and working towards it, that could be pretty good for me. But iron's going to be important to that. Tradies is about to open, so I'll head back over and wait for him out the front. So when he opens up his shop, I am here and ready to go. Cheeky chicken. I can't get any uh, any eggs out of you, but I can. Good shot. Get some cheeky slices of chicken breast. I'll harvest you up like that. Thank you very much. Some bones and some feathers and some meaty goodness. <gasps> Were you there a second ago? I definitely just charged through the long grass over there like a freaking Ash Ketchum fighting little Pokemon monsters. And you didn't come and try and fight me. I mean, I'm not upset about it because you probably would have messed me up if you had caught me off guard, but... Did you die? Or did I just knock you out? Nope, I just knocked you out. You know what? Let's just... Where are you going? That was a shit shot. I need... I invested some arrows into you and I'd very much like to reap the rewards of my hunting ability. Traders is opened. The kiosk is ready to go, but I need a snack first. Get over here, you fuzzy fuck. I'm now just chasing this goddamn wolf <laughs> wherever he's headed to. I don't really know what he's up to, but he's definitely not paying much attention to me. There we go. All right. You put a little hurdle in my day's plans there, wolfy boy. Give my arrow back. That sounded a little spooky. It's all right. It's just a, um, just a Bernie boy. But they haven't even raided this, like, remnant yet. Maybe that's what the wolf was doing. You know, he was acting like freaking Na'vi. And he's like, hey, listen. Come find some cool loot and shit over here. I promise it's worth your while. You just gotta trust me. And I murdered him for his efforts. We can raid that remnant later. That's not my main priority at the moment. Bobby boy, how you doing? Don't mind me. So where are we on the dollar redo front? We've got 9,853. I am going to start taking my money home with me so I have like a way to see how much I have in the morning, the afternoon, or the, the evening of each day. Because I've, the, by now, now I'm filming this one, the first episode has come out and people have been asking me for that, which is fair enough. So I'll try and get on that so all the money can go with me, grab you. But I also want to quickly check your vendor, another stack of sugar butts. You love to bloody see it. I mean, I'm just like, I'm just harboring them all now. I'm just really getting a nice little stash going. I could sell all of this in one go, but I might try and sell everything before the hoard so I still have some time to do stuff today. 
I think that's the right option. It's probably not, but I'm gonna give it a crack anyway. But while I am actually here, turret ammo. AP robotic turret ammo has to be crafted in the workbench, which is fine. But just like one of you, how much are you worth? Two dollars a pop. But I can make. Oh, see, mm. I was told these are worth a lot of money, and they probably are in like bulk form. Maybe if I just have like a lot of iron, I can just have a workbench constantly crafting that out and just sell stacks of it by the dozen. Don't know. But what I've got at the moment, it's not a whole lot. I would take. Ooh, Molotovs though. Shotgun magazine tube extender mods or 20 mollies. I do like mollies an awful lot, but my normal rule is to go with the books. Oh, I don't know. Or an armor mod as well. A, a pocket mod into armor increases its value. God, that's actually a hard decision. I think because I have the pipe bombs in the safe, I'll use the pop bombs for Horde Knight tonight and I'll take the book. Being able to craft a shotgun magazine tube mod means if I am like in, <laughs> if I'm producing shotguns to sell to tradie, I may never find that book again. And that's what kind of eats away at the back of my head, but I choose not to take a book. So I'll take that one. Thank you very much. A choke mod. What do you give me? 10% more damage when using a scope. See, that's less tempting because it's not a, a, a schematic book. It's just like a, a skill book. So I'm less tempted by that one. But nothing else in here is super fun. Shamway's secret recipe though. See, reading that might make my ability to stay alive later even better. That's going to be two and a half thousand dollar dues as well. <laughs> Shit, a brick. That's pretty good. Yeah, right. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. You're also going to offer me uh, a real job real out to another real trader, real Bob. Real All right, no man. wackers knackers, but I'll also grab another job of you if I can. Tier 1 clear zombies, 200 meters away, and the buried supplies. I, like you, I can do that. Oh, I reckon I can do again. that. But also, real Let's quick, let me ball. read you, read you, and see what you've got to sell. He's got basically next to nothing in his store. Some polymers and things, but nothing really exciting, except for... I mean, he has a cigar, but I already have one of those, so joke's on you. Um, oh, shotgun parts are expensive. He does have a wheel, and wheels are both annoying and a little bit pricey to craft. 500 bucks... I will buy the wheel, because I want to start pushing- Oh, I'm not actually- I could just buy a motorcycle. I could just skip all of my problems and just buy a motorcycle for 16 grand. I have enough stuff in my safe to use the, um, whatchamacallit, to use the, the better barter candy, the sugar butts. Probably come down like another, what, like 10%, so maybe it might be like 14,000, plus I can sell a bunch of stuff and get the money. Do I spend all of my money for wheels? Because it will mean I can get around the world a whole lot easier. Oh my god. That's a really tempting proposition. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What have you got in your secret stash? What is something I can spend my money on instead and take that decision off my hands? Uh, better chance of ragged on enemy with full automatic fire. Motorcycle handlebars. For like five grand. And oh, and a dubsy as well. I would like to roll with a shotgun at some point. Urban Color Volume 3, Sneak of a Trash Makes No Sound. That's only 800 bucks. That's a good book to have as well. I might have to spend money to make money. It doesn't feel good to me. I'm it, having this clash inside me that's saying, don't do it, you need to save money. But a motorcycle and being even stealthier, even sneakier. Oh, I don't know. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to bloody do. I'm going to be reckless. It's probably not the, not the right decision. In fact, I'm almost sure it's not. But somewhere in my soggy noodle brain, something is telling me that if I can get a motorcycle early, that's going to open up so much more of the world and enable me to do more quests faster and raid more places and do the things I'm going to do even quicker. So I feel like that's a good investment. It's not, a, not an expenditure. It's an investment. And that's what I'm going to keep telling myself while I cry myself to sleep at night on my sack that used to be full of money. It's like after a big party of Goon of Fortune, you cuddle your Goon sack to sleep at night. Earlier that day, it was full of goodness, and now it's empty and sad. You can hang out in them. I did buy that wheel, which now I probably shouldn't have, but that's all right. You can go into there. Nothing else to really sell. All right. Yep. Let's go do it. Let's go sell all that stuff in that safe using the um the sugar butts as well. And then I think we have to buy the motorcycle. I think it would be silly not to. to get a motorcycle in the first week. I feel like that's the right call. 
Oh, I'm just going to be sad on the other side of this, though. <laughs> Got to remember not to sell the pipe bomb. I'm going to sell the spare one, though. Sell all of you, please. There we go. 14,000. Can't sell the last blunder boy because I've already sold a bunch to him already. Sell all of this, too. So we're making money. I mean, this is what we're here for, after all. I feel like it's been nice and efficient waiting until I have the, um, uh, the sugar butts to make it work, but... Still hurts me deep down inside. Sell all of you. Sell the brass, which I know is contentious, but we'll be okay. So all of you, all of you, all of all of you. Thank you. That one and that one. Bonds might level up. I've got one skill point to spend. Can I real quick put a point in like better barter or something and get an even better deal? No, I cannot. Right, I'll spend that in a second then, because time is of the essence. Give me all of this stuff to sell as well. Those blundies might have to get scrapped. Oh, please just give me enough. If I do all of this, I mean, I have 20 grand. Oh, look at that. My first stack. Baby's first stack. My first full stack of $20,000 redos. We are on our way to goodness and hotness all about. Okay, but now that we have it, enjoy it for a moment because it's about to go. 14 grand. Oh, it hurts. It hurts, but it's got to be worth it. It has to be worth it. I really hope it's worth it. I wonder if buying mods of tradie, like, so I can buy mods, put it into things, and then sell them back to them. I wonder if that will, like, turn a profit by, like, a couple of hundred dollar reduce or not. Not entirely sure. Might be worth some experimentation later on down the road. Is there anything else I need from you while I'm here? I don't especially think so, but I'll have a look. You don't have eggs, do you there, chief? No, you don't. But now, actually, now that I have the motorcycle, I can potentially go and, like, raid other places, raid other tradies, and potentially sell to them. So, that could be well worthwhile. I went from 20 grand to 6 grand, or a little bit less than. <sighs> Sacrifice have to be made, though. Give me a couple of you. I'll stash them in the bike in case I do come across a traded potato. How far away was that other trade you wanted me to go to? Oh, I've got back to... Oh, I've got side-by-side -side quests there, though. And I now have the dinosaur juice to get up and hand it back into Trader Potato up here as well. Oh, this could be... It's out there. Okay, this could be doable. This could be real bloody doable. Let me go stash some shit back in the house and find some gas, I hope. Because we're about to burn some pelicans and we're about to take to the roads. I was going to leave some stuff here, but instead, give me you and you and you. Because those are going to be the things that I need for that one as well. To upgrade and work on my base in a little bit. So I'll grab all of that. Did I have any gas left over? A little bit, but not a whole lot. Because I think I'll swing past the fire station now and just put like a chest down uh, that has like all my horde stuff in it. So like the pipe bombs and my ammo and whatnot. Just the things that I am going to need. Oh, I forgot to sell those. I still have the better barter actually. So I can quickly go jump in and sell those ones. Didn't realize I got stashed into my hot farm. You, real quick, buy all of those for another 600 bucks. Thank you. Great doing business. And then, yeah, I can go and quickly do those two quests, hand them both in, make some dollar redos off that, and then after that, just entirely focus on doing uh, my horde base stuff. You, hold that, please. You have 64% fuel. We're going to have to work on that. But look at the storage space as well. I stand by that that was a good decision. Wait, there was still like... Five and a half grand just hanging out in my bicycle? I went to pick it up, but it wouldn't let me. Is that a glitch for I just put into here? No, it's not. Look at that. Had a whole stack of thousands of dollar readers I completely forgot about. Silly by me, but worked out in the end. So almost twelve thousand dollar readers now. Nice. Okay, let's quickly head over with the speed of the prehistoric era. Good, 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 good. I don't regret the decision at all. And I'll quickly just drop off. I, I build a, a chest upstairs and just drop off some shit over here. And then set about for my jobs for the day. It's already 11. So time is ticking away a little bit. I, I don't feel bad about that motorcycle. I don't feel bad about it at all. I know some people will disagree with me and be like, No, you great galah. That was the wrong thing to do. But it's all about efficiency, you know? The time, especially getting it early, the time I'll save and like the extra stuff I can do because I got that motorcycle early, that's only gonna work in my favor. That was definitely a good call. So these are the jobs that I need to do down here. Oh, is one of the quests for the bloody yellow building? Holy shit, it is too. We have another shot at getting the cement mixer up and working. That's really bloody good. All right, real quick, do you have any mail that I haven't checked before? You do. You've got a book. You can craft steel clubs. That's what I'm talking about. Crafting high tier stuff and filling it with mods. That's going to be great for me. I'll use you. And real quick, 
What's a steel club going to take? It's only a tier one, but we can like upskill ourselves to get better clubs later on. Still need a steel club parts though. Okay, don't get so excited, Josh. Got a long way to go. Let's reset you. Oh, I'm excited now. Okay, anything in the mailbox this time around? Steel spear, uh, ice uh, spear schematic. That was hard to say for some reason. I will take you and sell you, actually. But the real attraction here, the real dream, is for this to be working. Oh, and it's fucking working too. It's all coming up, Josh House. We're kicking some snags. Well, really fast then, because I do want to get both these quests done really bloody quickly. Uh, that's not the room I wanted to go into. I thought I was going through this way. There we go. Just to wake a couple of mups up. There you are. There you go. Because, yeah, as long as they're awake and, like, trundling about, means I know where they're going to be and they're not going to sneak up on me when I least suspect it. So, makes my life so much better. God, the steel, uh, the, st the uh, stone sledgy is so good early game. It's always a good time. $200 redos out of a recipe for potato seeds, which is especially interesting given the potatoes themselves are bloody seeds. Oh, no. I'm not outside to see. Just wait. Just wait. I'll be out there in a second. I need to see where you're dropping. Just give me a moment. There it is over there. It was really hard to find, but we finally stumbled upon it. It looks like it's a fair way away as well. Go like this. We'll go here. We'll go Derpo one scene. And I think it's what? Follow the line of sight. It's probably like out about... Oh, uh, maybe like out there somewhere, I think. Well, it's gone now, but I'm going to trust my gut on that one and say it's about there. This one here. Go Derpo one question mark. Hopefully, we'll come across it when we get out there later on. Not going to waste my time with it right now, though. Up and back in here. Back where we left off. Continue out the cheeky bloody raid. It's half past 12. Time's ticking away, but we're making good progress. Couple of bookcases. I'll come back for those in a second because I'm pretty sure this is the joint that has like a soldier boy hanging out in the kitchen. So, focus on that. For yeah, there you are. Focus on you for the moment because I really need to make sure that your helmeted head gets all sorts of squishy. I do love that power attack, having like a combo hit, so you can swing it through a couple of mups and cream them all. Oh, just like that. So, all right. We haven't cleared the area yet. We've got another couple of rooms to go. Hello? Anyone in here? Yep, there you go. Want to cover on the bed. A little ambitious, but you know what? Got to shoot your shot sometimes. Got to go full MJ. Done. Nice. All right, let's loot the joint and get out of here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's um it's Arlene and the Cowboys like attempt to kind of make restitution and appease me. It's their peace offering. Well, don't really accept it, but I will take the die. The skirt could piss off. Cowboy hat is actually worth a little bit of money, and I've scrapping them before, but I've learned my lesson now. Got a couple of bits of purple dice, so we'll go and swap it into that one. Swap it into that one as well. There we go. Get everything on theme and the correct color. But I'm going to go down fighting a horde. At least I want to have everything, you know, feeling like it's mine. Couple more recipes and a book as well. Throwing spears that hit the body have a 50% chance to slow their target for 8 seconds. I don't use spears really ever. But it's only worth 120 and it's a book. So, okay, I'll read you. Hunting knife schematic is relatively common. I'll find more of those later. So I don't really feel the need to hang on to it right now. Anything in you? Anything good? Just a couple of cheeky vitamins. Oh, man. What's the time, actually? 20 to the two. Ooh, 20 to the two. Okay. Pure mirror water. I'll take you. I'm almost full of gubs. But thankfully, I do have a motorcycle outside with a whole bunch of storage in it. This is so many perks. So many perks to have in that bad boy. It cost me an arm and a leg, but who needs mobility when I have a motorcycle? Oh, a tier five bow, a bando mod, and ooh, ho, ho, ho. and a Sammy the Sledge and a better stone sledgey. That's a really good weapons bag. Thank you very much. So I was kind of thinking to myself um, when I was kind of planning out what, what I was going to do for this series. Some good shit in there too, actually. I'm now completely chock a block. Uh, but got to, oh, I got tier six booties. Thank you very much. I'll stop over all the mods in a second once I sort the rest of my inventory garbage. But I was thinking about like what I was actually going to do with all of this. And I did kind of think that if I'm having to spec into intellect already, like I'm kind of getting that forced on me by having to make better deals with traded potato, it's probably not a terrible idea for me to utilize some, not all, but some of my, um, of my turret stuff. 
You know, like, if I'm going to be having the intellect skills, I may as well get a Sammy the Sledge and get a Terra the Tarot. Like, he's got to slap some nipples, but we'll deal with that when we have to. You can go into there, so I have some extra room for that. I think that's the right call. I still don't trust the turrets at all because they will just set off demos like their life depends on it, but it might be a good shout. It might work out for me. Store everything I need to in there. There you go. Didn't get everything out of me, but got most of it out of me. But now I can actually go through and sort out all of this extra stuff that I do need to actually uh, figure out where I'm putting everything. And in fact, while I'm at it, oh... Nah, it's not important right now. I don't need to break down cars for gas just yet. I have enough gas in the bike. Grab you. Just focus on freeing up your inventory space for the next raid. Move quick and don't doubt yourself. I think I've done all that about as good as I can. Uh, it's now 3 o'clock and we're losing time. But this is a relatively quick period to raid. Grab that munitions box before I reset the joint though. Because it's a freebie. So may as well. Although I am leaving myself with basically zero time... Ooh, full auto mod. It's basically zero time uh, to get my horde base in order. It's going to be a pretty big endeavor to get that working for me when push does come to shove in not too long. You can go like that. In fact, I might even... Oh, I got 50 bucks as well. So that's the thing. Like, what's my threshold for scrapping stuff? You know, how much value is enough value to warrant me losing an inventory spot to keep it? That's always kind of the battle I'm having in my head. First kill with the new sledge. He does what it needs to do and obliterates his noggin. Scrap you. Take that because I can sell you for like 50 bucks. I think 50 bucks is about the right call, but anything under that, I think I need to start getting rid of. Just trying to go as quickly as possible because I'm now very aware of how little time is left before the horde. Sit you down. Sit you down. Once I get the power strokes in, I can pretty much just go with the normal strokes afterwards and make pretty easy work of them. Some extra food in there. Didn't even check the bloody kitchen yet. I was too busy getting my murder spree going. Extra iron. Extra iron out of there too. Always search the trash can for a treasure map. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I can deal with that tomorrow though. Not really a now problem. Definitely a later Josh problem. Just add it to the list that's already like three miles long. Can you tell I'm starting to get a little bit anxious about how little time is actually left over for me? How you doing? Didn't quite get your noggin. Ow, but you got mine. But no. Okay, you were the last Muppet though. So now we're pretty much okay. Got a little bit of room to work with. Um, I mean, I'm a little bit peckish. You might be good for other things. So I'll try and hold on to you for the moment. What's in the bookcase? Anything good? Uh, extra damage to mountain lions. Sure. Mountain lions suck dicks. If I come across them, I'd really like to kill them a little bit easier. Oh, and a crippler mod as well. Do I have an extra spot in any of you? I think I have it in this one. Yep, there we go. Just extra damage to the bone, which means I do sneak into somewhere. It's going to do extra stealth damage as well. Good shout for me. Uh, I'd rather have the cigar, so uh, you can just get scrapped. Whatever, don't care. No one needs a bando right now. Another couple of iron arrows and some bullets. I think we're basically done here, so time for me to leave someone's out there a little bit annoyed about the fact that i've just been ransacking probably his best friend's house or well, if you'd like to come over and raise the issue with me directly i am all ears and by that i mean i'm gonna take your ears although whatever happened to you scomo i don't think you have any ears anymore makes sense the body are bloody deaf to everything i yell at you nice okay um i should i think real quickly go back to trade potato and just hand in that quest just to free up the quest slot? I mean, I suppose I could do it tomorrow. But if I hand it in here, then first thing tomorrow morning, I can head up to the northern trader. So when he opens up, I'm there ready to go. What's the time? 20 to the 5. A little bit of time to sort up my horde base. Not much. I may have tried to do too much today. This may have been silly. Just dropping off all the stuff that I need to into there. But I'll keep the mods on me so I can put into things back at home. Otherwise, I'll forget that I have them. Sammy the Sledge can come with me. Someone's beating on shit outside, but that's not an issue right now. All right, sick. What have you Great got for job, me? Trevor. Cooling mesh mod, a stack of ammo, or a shotgun choke, or a book that I've already read. The ammo is still worth the most out of you. Cooling mesh might be handy, but I have to go with the dollar do value, so give me that one. Any other jobs? You have the buried supplies to the southeast. Maybe we could do that tomorrow before I head up to the new tradie. Um... I mean, I've got a little bit of time in the morning to do it before the trade is open. So, okay, I'll Can take you, you just to see you. what happens tomorrow, but no promises to you. Oh, that's fine. I can take that home with me. Hmm. Yep. 
This is uh, this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna use the dumpo chest. Everything can go into there. So I'm ending today. I'm looking at more money today. So ending it at twelve thousand six hundred and thirty-five in all of Yugo. Keep all my regular gubs on me. All right, I'll deal with the rest of that tomorrow. If I am a little bit peckish, so I'll take you and I'll take you in case I need some new shit while I'm out at the other base. And let's go and see what we can sort out. It's a real doomy and gloomy sort of day. The world is definitely a little bit uh, angry with my endeavors. The weather's angry. The horde's going to be angry. Everything's about to knock down my way. But I'm thinking just a little bit of upgrades to this place should do a reasonably good job of keeping me sane and safe. Just not sure what we're to do yet. I'm about to build the horde base, so I have no idea what the best port of call is going to be. I did have a little bit more 9mm left over back at home, but 300 rounds and then whatever's in the magazine should be enough to get me through for the moment. You need to make me some flagstone blocks. Never mind, you need to make me some cobblestone blocks first. Not all of them though, just some... I don't have many small stones actually. Let's just go like... So it needs four to make a block, right? I think I might need like maybe... Maybe like 50, so maybe like 200 of you. Yes, I know, Zeus, calm your bloody deified farm. Um, what's the best way? See, I kind of want to potentially reinforce the doorways. Like, those are the weak points. Reinforce one there, reinforce... Oh, I can come through that way as well, because I broke out of the garage. Oh, that's like three areas to try and defend, because I want to try and go... Malay. I want to try and conserve my ammo as much as possible because a stone sledge is free to repair. So that's kind of what I want to try and do. So I think if I use the stairway to my advantage, that might work. So make me like a couple of wooden hatches. Let's go four for now. Because yeah, maybe I could defend the doorways downstairs and if they break through, I can run upstairs. But that's a pretty big risk. I'm an absolute genuine clown. I've got flippers for feet and I can't swim. So... I don't think relying on me to adequately be coordinated to get upstairs in a pinch is a good idea. That's a great way for me to panic and bin it. I think one thing that I need that's kind of a non-negotiable if I get some poles and I quickly go advanced rotation. And if you can give me my hologram, please, and see what the shit I am building. If I put a couple of these along like that, that should just give me an extra kind of like buffer between where the zombie's going to be, where I'm going to be. I'm not sure how viable it's going to be to like block up this bit here and fight down that way. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be a thing. It may well not be. I also don't want to have it so I completely block their path and decide to destroy the building instead. So maybe like that, I suppose, just to stop them going up and over the top. That might be the right way to do it. All of these are supported though, because they're technically connected to the railing there, which makes my life a bit easier. Upgrade you a little bit. In fact, wait, 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 wait. Ah, fuck, I already made all the flagstone blocks. Shit, I should have just gone, yeah, I should have just gone wood, reinforced wood cobble. That would have been the smarter way to do it, but I blew all of my uh, cobblestones making flagstone blocks. That was definitely silly. I can hear someone like walking around outside as well. Can you all just leave me alone, please? I'm panicking enough already. I don't need nosy neighbors to come and squeeze at what I'm up to. I really want to put my hat just in this little spot like that, but it won't let me because that bloody pole is right in the way. That all looks like it's all connected to the uh, the floor. So I think I'm fine to just get rid of you and just free up this opening here. It's been a lot. I mean, I've fought a horde in this building before. It's just it's over eight o'clock. I've definitely fought a horde here previously. I'm... It's never really gone especially well. It's never really filled me with all the confidence in the world, but I don't really have a choice right now. It's my best option for the options that I have available by a margin. So we'll get you, upgrade you. I brought the iron specifically to upgrade you a little bit further. I could go and put, this is the thing, I could go and put the hatches I have left. Bonds are mate level. Oh, I got to skip what to spend. Could go put the hatches I have left in front of the other doors and kind of sit there and try and defend them. But it still means that when push comes to shove, I'm charging up these stairs and trying not to trip over myself, which just ends up with me getting skewered. I don't even know what to put my skill points into because I kind of want to put it into intellect then better barter. Um, if that's not, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it now so I can't make a bad decision later. Because now... With that, I can now take my XP goggles off and I'll go back to level 2 better barter so I can have those two secret stashes available to me again, which is just smart cricket. 
Um, now I've got this bloody word. I regret making the flagstone blocks. That was silly. I panicked. I did something dumb. And I really shouldn't have. But what I'll actually use them for is just to go along like this. And just have it as a way to keep the zombies from going up and over the top. That's really my main concern there. That'll keep them all where I need them to be. They might fall down there, but that'll be okay. And in fact, can I go? What's the time? I've got a little bit of time left. I'll get rid of this. And I'll put like some more solid walls in there as well. Maybe even some like... In fact, I've this is the thing. This is why the bloody... This is why the flagstone blocks are so worthless. I could have just gone wood reinforced, uh, wood then cobble. But instead, now I've wasted some of my cobble making flagstone. So that was definitely silly. But if I just put in some normal stuff along here, like that, I'll go, uh, change my shape, go not center plate, side plate, and stick it up along like that, there and then. I can reinforce you. So I still have a way to see through and attack and throw pipe bombs or whatever. But these are going to be stronger than the... You look at that. 1500 HP compared to 300. Much stronger. And I think as a desperate last resort, I'll go there. And I'll go... There. So that if I do have to bail out of here, I can put up one of these hatches and skedaddle and keep them behind me. That's not a great solution by any stretch. In fact, what I'm going to do... Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You utter ass hat. You collective shot in someone's hands who's about to give a very vigorous round of applause. You can't do that to me before a horde. We've got 45 minutes before the horde shows up and you're sending a fucking wandering after me? Nah, game. Yeah, fucking nah, game. That's bullshit and you know it. It's not the worst horde I've ever faced, but I am running out of time, so I need to kill you guys as quickly as possible, please. If my, um... My sledger could still one-shot a couple of clowns. That would be super terrific right about now. Boz, go away, please. This is how I'm spending my last couple of minutes preparing for a horde. Fighting a different horde. That power stroke right in the guts. Didn't kill him, but did my best. You should be just about to die, Moz. No. There we go. Okay. So what I was going to say was I feel like I could just open these doors to give them easy access. I'll probably break down this one, and that's okay. Close you, close you so they don't get lost. Yeah, just, I mean, I might be able to do something with those doors later on down the track. So I'd rather have them, like, open now so they don't try to get through. Don't have the cobble to upgrade those because I was a Muppet made all of these. You know what? Scrap those then. See if we can make some extra cobble in a bit. If let's go like this straight away. Sure. Fuck it. Why not? Just make some extra cobble for me. I've got you. I've got bandos. I've got some first aid as well. Um, not going to need you, I don't think. I'll keep the painkillers down there as well. Oh, shit. This is all, this is all coming to a point again, but I don't like it. Here we go. The horde is coming in. I'm finally making the cobble that I need to upgrade this shit. So go a little bit faster, please. Come on. There you go. Upgrade you up to cobble, not just flagstone. They should be right about now making their way in. I do still have some stones on me so that I can upgrade my, um, I can upgrade my, uh, or repair my stone sledgehammer, rather, when I need to. Here we go. They're all funneling up nicely. In fact, ow! Knocking backwards like that and having to be like your own little, like, zombie roadblock down there kind of helps me. Cheeky zombie loot bag. In fact, you know what? I'll have a little squiz. Cheeky froth. Wouldn't mind a froth, actually. Does frothies help me with my melee damage? Just brawling damage, so not... I could punch zombies to death, but I couldn't sledgehammer them. Come on, where are the rest of you? I took it a little bit of a tumble already. Yeah, they're coming through the garage. See what I mean? Would have had to have defended against three different avenues if I was downstairs. Staying up here was the right call. In fact, while they're all still down there, let's go like this. Let's throw one cheeky pipe on. Throw a second cheeky pipe on right at the foot of the door. That's a peach of a pill. Cop that the lot is. Explode you all before you even make it through the fucking doorway. Nice. Good, good, good. Repair you. The little lulls between the fights I can repair stuff with. Early hordes aren't the worst thing in the world. They'll definitely get worse. But for now, this little method should work out okay for me. Shed this guy's actually super useful. So I'll take you. Got some extra um, waters as well to keep my stamina regen up and going. Because I need everything I got. There's a bit of a cluster. So I'll just go like this. Just drop that right at your feet and run over here. 
cop all of that. Ragdoll the Lodigers. Repair any damage I might have done by doing that. Just a little bit. A little bit of some scripts and scrapes from where I came. Bonk you down. Don't you go goopy get pushed through by your friend. That's not the way you can do it like it's freaking duck game. No. No. Go away, please. This is working fine. It's a little bit clunky, but it's getting the job done. So really nicely, actually. I can just stand back over here. I put my back against the catwalk behind me, and it's at the perfect range to fuck up zombies all over the shop, but they can't reach me. So it kind of removes any of the guesswork. Doesn't remove my stamina drain, though. So I take that one as I scoot on back over here. Like, I know the pipe bombs were valuable, but I definitely feel like this is a better use for them. I stand by using them instead of the um the Molotovs. This will be fine. This will be fine. Get rid of one of your arms. Get rid of one of your faces, please. That one will do. You're all really strong and it kind of sucks, but I might have to quickly go put a couple of rounds through your chops just to really drive home the point that I'm not asking. I'm insisting you all kindly fuck off me lawn. My stamina regen is just not good enough though. Real quick, give me one of you. Have a little sip. Have a little repair of that one to keep it all nice and happy and get back to it again. Just get the stamina on the sledge was letting me down. I need to get those steel clubs up and going. But real quick, here, take that for me. I'll run back. Ow! I'll run back over here. Can I make an iron hatch? I can. I can make two of those, please, real quick. Because if I can upgrade those in the middle of this fight to be iron hatches, that's going to be even better than what it currently is. Because these aren't particularly strong. Like your jawbone isn't. I mean, I did fire a couple of rounds into it, but you should be fine with that. Stay away for a moment. Just leave those hatches alone while I'm quickly getting some upgrades rocking for them. There we go. Right, you. Upgraded all the way up to Iron Hatch. There we go. Keep upgrading it up to the next level. So really, it's one level down from a Vault Hatch, which is like well over what is necessary for this. But that's pretty nice and strong. That's what I've used for a Hatch Hallway. That's doing the trick. It's all quiet. So I think we're done. They're bursting through the windows. They came in through the walls. That's all... Oh, to be kind of expected, I suppose. Thank God I opened the door for them so that they had an easy way in. <laughs> Trying to do something nice for them. They come in like a freaking stiff breeze regardless. Well, uh, there's a loot bag down here. I'll quickly grab you. Uh, a worse stone sledge. I'll scrap you for the stone and the spear as well. And $81 redos. Nice. Okay, well... Yeah, that worked pretty well. All things considered, that could have gone a whole lot worse, but I think it went about as well as I could have hoped for it. As hordes get bigger and worse, I'm like this kind of setup just won't work. Even though like it clusters them up real well. I don't know what it is about this fire station in particular. Other POIs, well, like, even if I build something particularly and funnel them to me my own way, this just seems to be weaker. I'm not sure why that is, but I never really had a lot of success in this place going forward. But for the first couple hordes, it's usually okay. I think past, I could do day 14 here. I'm not going to do day 21 here, though. That's just uh, asking for trouble. I got fucked up enough, and it was just day 7. So I'm going to have to leave this episode here, I think, and come back. And uh, yeah, first thing in the morning, in fact, before like even 4 a.m., uh, I'm going to go down and do the T1 buried supplies just down there and uh, see what I can get out of that one. Because then, as soon as it hits 6 a.m., in fact, I might even take them to the after I've dug up that to head up north. If I've got the time and start here. In fact, what I do need to do is go like this, go like this, and go cement uh, mix some. Sean, who needs capitals anyway? So I know where that one always is. That's a good find. Today was a good day. We did a lot and we survived the hordes. I'm going to have to come back and enter my second week of trying to make a million dollars in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.